Hi guys, today we're gonna to talk about why people fail with intermittent fasting, okay? Well, number one, they never start. Intermittent fasting brings up a mental problem because you're depriving someone of food and to people, food is survival. So you're taking away their ability to survive. But what you have to realize is you're not really doing that. You're just switching the food fuel for the fat fuel. You're finally, for once, living on your own fat. You're living off of the food that you ate months ago, maybe years ago, that turned into fat. You're finally using it as fuel. So once you realize that, maybe you'll feel a little bit better about that because you're not really depriving yourself. You're just burning up stored reserves and people have a lot to burn. Um, so you can drink coffee, that won't break your fast. You can do tea, that won't break your fast. The key is making sure that when you eat, the, the meal is very healthy, okay? And, and it's big, you, you don't wanna cut calories. Yes, you may cut calories just from the nature of eating less frequent, but ideally you want to eat a nutrient dense meal. We call it healthy keto. So if you're new to my channel, click below for the exact diet you need to be on. Okay, number two, you feel worse when you do intermittent fasting. How could that be? Now you're going through a transition phase. It takes two to three to four, up to five days to transition over because you're building new machinery, new enzymes. And in the process, uh, it's the vitamin and nutrient like mineral deficiencies that create these side effects. So all you have to do, increase your potassium as an electrolyte, increase your sodium as sea salt, and B1 in the form of nutritional yeast, and you won't have hardly any side effects. That should handle most of them. So in, in uh, the document below that you can download, I show you very gradually how to go into this so you don't feel worse, okay? But I understand if you feel worse, you may wanna stop. It just means that you're not doing it correctly. Number three, you're not losing weight. Now, the vast majority of people that start intermittent fasting start losing weight and a lot of weight. Some people might lose for a while and then they plateau. Other people may not lose initially for this one simple reason. And it's based on a principle that I have in my book, which is this, you get healthy to lose weight, not lose weight to get healthy. Sounds really simple, but it's very powerful. And what do I mean by getting healthy? I mean repair damaged organs. Your body, especially if you're menopausal, if you have atrophy, will focus on repair before just fat burning, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna look at other positive health factors. Is your energy going up? Is your cravings going away? Are you less hungry? Do you have better cognitive function? That means it's working. If you want to improve the weight loss, you cut your carbs when you eat, you do longer fasting, and you add exercise and more sleep too. All right, number four, this is a biggie. Other people, your so-called friends and family members are discouraging you. They're telling you, oh my gosh, you're starving your body. You need to be eating every three hours. You need to eat a breakfast. That is absolutely not true. We don't need to eat that frequently. If we eat that frequently, we never tap into our fat reserves. How are you gonna burn fat if you're eating so frequently? Eating very frequently gets you into a massive trouble with insulin, okay? And this is why we have a massive problem with diabetes and prediabetes. Um, so you're not starving your body, you're just shifting what fuel you are running off of, your fat. If you wanna burn fat, fasting is the best way to do it. And also, if we look at uh, the when versus the what, like what's more important, when you eat or what you eat? Believe it or not, when you eat is a little bit more important than what you eat. I don't want that to be the reason you eat what you want, but the, the point is that intermittent fasting is slightly more important than what you eat. Because if you actually do a keto plan and eat frequently, you will still trigger insulin just by the nature of eating in general, okay? So insulin is triggered by carbs and frequent eating. So that's why intermittent fasting with healthy keto goes together. Why? Because we're trying to heal 
insulin. And insulin is behind most chronic health problems. Then we get into what's called the five and two and alternate day fasting. What is that? I don't even consider these intermittent fasting. Five and two is basically eat what you want uh, five days out of the week, and then two days, you cut your calories down to 500 per day. Well, that's not fasting. You're still eating, it's a low calorie diet. It's not intermittent fasting. Plus you're eating what you want five days out of the week. So that is a very unhealthy uh, pattern of eating. Okay, alternate day fasting. This is where you pretty much eat what you want every other day. And the days that you so-called fast, you're eating 500 calories again. That's not fasting. You're eating 500 calories, that's a low calorie diet. There are some benefits, okay, to do low calorie, but it comes with a package. It doesn't get rid of your hunger. You don't convert over. It's hard to do because um, you haven't adapted. It takes a period of time to totally adapt to get rid of hunger and cravings. I mean, you could do a low calorie diet with the cravings, but chances are you're gonna go off because you crave. The entire success of intermittent fasting done correctly um, is this, your hunger goes away. If you have no hunger, okay, you can go longer. You won't give up easily, okay? And this is what builds willpower, is your ability to say no to food. And the essence of why intermittent fasting works so well is you can go longer without eating and you actually build your willpower. What destroys your willpower is going off the program, caving in. But if you can control yourself and you are in the driver's seat over the food, you can strengthen your willpower. And that is very, very important. The ability to control your environment, to not give in to the different foods around you. I mean, very few people can do that. But intermittent fasting is a tool to get into that state. Okay? All right, depriving nutrients. Now, not if you actually do a healthy keto plan. When you eat, uh, we always recommend um, to have a very good large meal with nutrient-dense foods. And I also recommend adding certain supplements as well. And I have a lot of videos on that. So that way you're, you're never deprived of nutrients. We don't want your hair to fall out. Um, we don't want your nails to become brittle. Uh, we don't want you to have side effects. And I show people exactly what to eat, what to take to avoid that. Now, sometimes you might hear this, uh, this concept of intermittent fasting is not good for women because it destroys their hormones. And then you find out they're actually doing the five and two or the alternate day fasting. They're not doing it correctly. Um, the, the truth is that intermittent fasting with healthy ketosis is extremely healthy for the endocrine system. From my experience working with thousands of people all over the world, uh, rarely do I ever see any problems with women doing this. I'm seeing just the opposite. I'm seeing massive improvements with women in their hormones, especially after menopause. Uh, we're seeing improved fertility, uh, especially if you're increasing the healthy fats that you need, uh, which actually is the raw material for the endocrine system. So it can strengthen your willpower uh, intermittent fasting is anti-cancer. Uh, intermittent fasting helps you create more brain cells. There are massive benefits. But if you don't start and you don't do it right and you give up because of that, or you don't continue it long term, uh, you're not going to see the success. So click the document down below. Find out how to do intermittent fasting correctly and it will work for you. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, Go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.